Welcome to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. I'm your host, Sally, and we are talking with Stephen. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having How's me. How's things going? Things are going great. Good. So, you know, this is a different kind of market. Things are adjusting, mm -hmm. changing. We were kind of like in a routine for a while, but based on the way things are going, we see sellers are having to give credits. They're mm -hmm. having to lower their sales prices a little bit. So what about commissions? Are commissions negotiable? One hundred percent. And I think that this is a really important question because all things being equal, uh -huh. why would you ever want to pay more for something? Right. So if I can get this table for fifty dollars, why right. would I want to pay one hundred fifty dollars for it? Um, but of course, what's baked into that is that not all real estate experiences are equal. Yeah. OK, so it's kind of like I can buy this table at Amazon or I can buy the table at crate and barrel or whatever and it could co cost twice as much so you're hiring a real estate agent do you feel like you say you get what you pay for 100 percent. so okay. i think what you often hear is my cousin is a realtor and he can do it for x percent and i think the 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 part of that sentence i would question is 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 do it like what mm -hmm. is he doing or what is she doing um uh, real estate is a limited uh liability to practice the law right and so there are people who are better and worse at all the things that go into mm -hmm. say uh consulting negotiating and overseeing mm -hmm. a, a real estate transaction so like you said you do get what you pay for and your commission is an investment and so uh the more you invest you'd like to get more so mm -hmm. it all depends on what's what's best for you and what's best for your situation i've seen people structure their commission as an agent scale it like We'll do this much for 3% or 6%. We'll do this much for 5%. We'll do this much for 4%. What do you think about that? Yeah, 100%. I think that's a great idea. I think that we we generally offer two packages there. We say we do this and we at, at this level and we do this at another level. And mm -hmm. I think that, again, that just every selling situation is different. So you shouldn't have just one tool mm -hmm. uh, to attack the problem. What is a general like what is the rule of thumb generally speaking of a of a of a sales agent's commission so that's a question i can't answer okay. <laughs> because uh actually that, that there's actually really strict ethics okay. on um, um giving any sort of sense of that there's collusion in the uh -huh. market and saying yeah that there's, that's a, true, there, huh? there's a there's a standard fee for something so yeah so san diego you can expect any range of you know, commission percentage. Like I said, there is a wild ra range of people who are providing different services, mm -hmm. uh, certainly at different prices. Uh, but again, I think the 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 biggest truth, like you said, is you get what you pay for. And I think if you're a seller, mm -hmm. think about what are the possible outcomes in the transaction, what are the potential hiccups, and what and are the risks? Yeah, what are the risks, and who, which which agent have you? We always want every transaction to go perfect, mm -hmm. um, but which agent is going to you know, get you from point and A to vet B. Vet your agent mm -hmm. to make sure that the one that you're hiring and paying can really fulfill that role. Right, and and it's really just a lot more than just putting the sign in the yard and taking a few yeah, pictures. Well, nowadays, especially, right, exactly. there's a lot more legwork to yeah. it. And I think it's just a, just a matter of, in terms of combination of market knowledge and experience, who is going to help you? Who is going to who is going to talk when they need to talk? Be quiet when they need to be quiet. And sometimes those silences or those words could be, you know, fifty thousand dollars or mm -hmm. you know, or more, just in terms of negotiation or so credit. So you're saying it's okay for a seller to ask? It's okay to ask about the sales commission? I, I th and well, I think it. that I think that expectation of commission should be right up, very close to the front of the conversation. One hundred percent. I completely awesome. agree. Yeah, transparent right from the gate. Absolutely, absolutely. I love it. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. That's nice, and thank you guys for watching.